Hello everyone, it's me Binat Rizal and I am representing my group. My group have chosen the report or project report to make the calendar in C programming. Our group members are Aris Ponti, Elisa Sakya, Nisha Lupreti and myself. Now I am here going to explain the coding part. This is how our header files look like that is studio.h and stlib.h. This stlib.h will be for the system and changing the background of the system. Now let's firstly execute this and run this output. We'll show this output. Indoor the desired 2016. Let's say this is how our console look like. I'll come to this part later on. Now let's go to this main function. Here this integer type variable year, month, days, and other threes are declared first i'll go to this three and then finally this three year month and days let's this year month and days enter your desire as we already entered 2016 and this is can of will read this year and another character character type pointer array that is the month of the days sorry month of the year is declared and integer type month day that is the days in a year month is declared here and this if a statement is used here for the leap year for the leap year february would have 29 days and other other simple normal days would have 28 days so monday one this one index will represent the february if zero since this zero will represent the january so one is equal to 29 days is for february and this is for leap year now the full concept is used here month is equal to zero and it will represent january month is less than two billion it will represent the december and it will be incremented by one similarly this I will come to this part days in month later on, okay? And print of it will read this, this same and percentage will represent this character, character pointer array, and this is the weeks. Print of will this will print the weeks. Now another for loop is used here for the days. Days is called one and less than days in a month. Now as I've already told, this print of will print the day, and now let's go to this days in month concept. There are three concepts here days in month weekday and starting days days in month let's go to this first concept this then second and another third days in month let's go to this first concept it is it is called here it is called here to access the number of the days a month contain when this month this month is called zero the month day index will show this January when month this month is called one then month the index will show February as January 31 days and February 29 days So for this for loop Days is less than or equal to days in month if we write here 31 days Then it will be only for the January, but every month have different days. So this days in month concept is very useful here Now let's go to this second concept. That is weekday is called zero this when zero represents the Sunday and it is obviously incremented inside this for loop another for loop is used and finally if a statement is used where it is incremented and if the, it is greater than six that is if it is sunday to saturday and after that the new line will be created and day is called zero it is okay again repeat this new line will be why this is input and i will show you in this output so after saturday we can see two new line is created that is three if this concept was not used then this three four five should be will be like horizontally not in the new line and this is why this concept is important now let's go to this final concept that is the starting day since it is not guaranteed let's go to the output since it is not guaranteed that sunday will always be the first day in a month we can see in this january that first day is friday not on sunday so for this purpose this function i'll show you this function is used it is declared in get first week in here this is declared and this function it is used as formula and percent return d this is the day is returned and it is the function is calling here starting day is called get first week and year and for this purpose also another loop is used here like for weekday is called zero less than starting day weekday incremented and here space is used five space are used or you can also say padding and finally this is starting day is called weekday this is how our coding look like for the calendar thank you everyone